in the studio with me is Mr. Peter DeSavory. Good morning, Mr. DeSavory. Good morning to you. Doing? Very good. Good. Did you get your exercise in this morning? Or was I'm already knackered. I've had it. I'm worn <laughs> out, you know, watching. watching. Exhausting. Me too. Me Exhausting. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, welcome uh, to Daybreak Grenada. Thank you. Thank you for coming in uh, to see us. Do uh, you have a number of projects going on in Grenada, as most people will know. Tell us uh, about the projects, uh, the status, where they're at, how things are going. Well, I think we, we, we have three principal projects. We have obviously Mount Cinnamon at, at, at Grand Anse, mm -hmm. um, and we have Port Louis, uh, which includes the marina, the Camp Nicholson Marina, and then Tufton Hall up in the uh, uh, mountains above uh, Victoria. Uh, all of these projects are, are quite different. They appeal to different markets. And um, we have, I think, to be realistic in the last two to three years, uh, had a little slowdown. Everything's uh, been a little quieter, but we've kept everything alive while we assess the market. Uh, the world circumstances have not been easy, so we've had to adjust to those. But I'm pleased to say that um, I've regained some confidence in what's happening internationally, and particularly the opportunities for Grenada. So this winter, starting next month, we're gearing up, we're cranking up, we're uh, uh, getting out in the world, bringing journalists in. As I speak, we have journalists here from Europe, we have journalists coming from America next week. Uh, we're starting the marketing, we're starting the push to get people back to Grenada, people thinking about investing, coming here for their holidays, uh, perhaps having a home, bringing their yacht here, that sort of thing. So we're getting going again. So you're seeing a, a turnaround in, in how things have been going internationally? Well, I think, I think we've all sort of been miserable for quite a long time. You know, the news, guys yeah. like you on the media, you focus on the bad news. Everything's, yeah. everything's depressing, everything's down. And I think what we have to do is, is gather ourselves together and try to get optimistic and try to seize upon the positive things. And, and instead of me walking around saying my hotel is half empty, I should walk around and say my hotel's half full. Right. Let me uh, right. fill it right up. So I think we need to be positive. I think we need to take all the good things we can, build on them, and try to get going again because the world is not going to come to an end. Grenada is a fantastic place, and we've just got to get people moving, coming back here. So uh, we're on the move, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're right, Grenada is a fantastic place, but you're on the outside a lot. I mean, how, how attractive are we really uh, outside? Well, you know, compared to lots of places in the world where they're having revolutions and riots and all kinds of things and circumstances are really quite frightening, um, I think Grenada is very attractive. It's a very peaceful country. It's easy to get to. Um, there's lots of opportunities here. People can come here and have a great time. Uh, they'll be well received, that we all know. And, um, and I think it's, um, it's pretty appealing. It's an adventure. It's quite new. The world doesn't know about Grenada. Yeah. The world does know about Barbados and the Bahamas and St. Martin and St. Bart's and Jamaica and many other Caribbean countries. But the world doesn't really know about Grenada. And when you tell the story, it's very appealing. And when you get here, they obviously enjoy it. Sells it sells itself. Yes. Okay. I, would, would you say that there's anything unattractive about Grenada? Uh, well, um, as I said to you earlier, I'm not going to think about unattractive things. I'm not okay. going to think about them. I'm not going to talk about them. And all you gentlemen in the media, you stop talking about them. Tell everybody the good news. Tell yeah. them what they can do to make it better. So I don't think there's anything about unattractive yeah. about Grenada. And if there is, I don't want to know about it. Okay. No, I agree with you. I think it's, uh, it's always makes sense to, to look at the, the better side. I think if you look for something bad, uh, you're definitely going to find it. So I suppose I was... Uh, thinking more along the lines of any small changes that, that we can make, immediate little things that we can just be conscious of and, and you know, add another 5% to, to what's going on. Well, I think, I think it all begins at the airport, and I think it's terribly important that all those people who work hard at the airport, the customs, the immigration, the people who help with the luggage, the people who check you in, uh, the people who do the security, everybody at the airport who comes in contact with a visitor, whether they're arriving or departing, I think it begins there, to give them a really friendly welcome. Say thank you for coming when they leave. It's very easy for people at the airport to say, as the guests are departing after a, a visit to Grenada, to say thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed our country. Do come back again soon. I think making that positive impression on arrival 
and on departure is uh, is essential. Uh, and then when that happens with the taxi driver and when they get to the hotel and when they go to the shops, I think it's the friendliness of the people of Grenada, well demonstrated, that uh, can make a big difference and make them come back to this island rather than say, oh, well, next year we'll go to another island. Right. We don't want that. We right. want them returning here, repeat visitors. Right, and they get so great that they never have Absolutely. any incentive to, to think about anywhere yeah. else. So. Okay. Uh, I mean, talking about investing again and, and the outside, I mean, how difficult is it as an investor generally in the way things are going? I know you're saying you're seeing little turnarounds and, and you know, you're bringing a lot of media into Grenada, but in general, what would you say it's like as an investor? Well, I think it's really tough. I think people, it's not that there isn't money. There is, there's lots of money out there in the world, lots of individuals, lots of families, lots of uh, banks, lots of institutions, lots of investors have got money. People lack confidence. They're nervous. They don't know what's going to happen next. Is gold going up? Is gold going down? What's happening to the dollar? What's happening to the euro? Will Greece go bankrupt? Is Italy next? People are sort of shell-shocked. They've not seen such dramatic circumstances financially for a very, very long time. And for most people, this is the first time they've seen this sort of shocking series of events, revolutions, governments overthrown in the Middle East countries, etc. So everybody's sitting on their hands a little bit. And what we've got to do is shake them up, loosen them up, tell them it, 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 it isn't all going to end. We're, we're not yeah. at the end of the world. So come on, you've got to do something. Let's get going. Let's invest some money. Let's get some projects moving. And we need the media to start saying that. So this coming weekend, I have at my expense coming here the Times newspaper of London, the Daily Telegraph from London, the Evening Standard from London. All of them are coming here for several days as my guest to see Grenada, meet with the Prime Minister, meet local people, see what's going on. And hopefully they go back and say, you know what? Don't sit on your hands. Don't hide your money. You need to invest it. There's opportunities. Grenada's a great place. It's a safe place. It's a friendly place. And hopefully that makes a difference. So we've got to get the ball rolling positively forward. We've got to encourage everybody. We've got to smile a lot. We do have to work really hard as well. Yeah. But um, uh, it's possible. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. It is very difficult. We're all in a corner. But you know what? We've got to stand up and we've got to fight our way out of that corner. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you're, you're in and out of Grenada fairly regularly. And I mean, I know you said this time you've got uh, the Times coming in, you've got lots of other folks coming in. It sounds like you're very busy, but you clearly love Grenada a lot. Surely uh, you must find some personal time to enjoy Grenada a little bit. Uh, what are some of the things that you personally like to enjoy about Grenada? Do you actually get to enjoy it or is it 24-7 <laughs> no, when you get No, not, not at all. Um, I, think, um, I think for me to be able to sell Grenada to people, convince people about Grenada, um, I have to experience it and know it well myself. So of course I take some quiet time, private time. Uh, and for me, there's, a, the, there's lots of things I love to do. I love to go up into the mountains, up into the countryside. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a, a plantation up above uh, uh, Victoria, Pasquave, and to go up there and look at the views and just enjoy the peace and quiet and the natural beauty. Hasn't changed in thousands of years. Uh, take a swim in the river, have a little yeah. picnic. It's magical. I mean, I believe I'm thousands of miles away from civilization. But of course I'm not. I'm only yeah. 60 minutes from the airport, which <laughs> is fantastic. Yeah. You know? yeah. um, I like going sailing uh, uh, to go up to carry a coup and, uh, uh, and, and, and enjoy the island up there. And, um, and be out on a boat is a, is a terrific pleasure for me, one of, the, one of the really fun things to do. In fact, the day before yesterday, I, I took some uh, investors, potential investors, who come from Europe here this week uh, out on the boat and they marveled as they saw the coastline. We went up to Guave to see the new jetty, the fishing jetty and the right. fish processing plant. It all looked very exciting and very, very good indeed. And uh, just as you see that coastline from the water, it's magical. It, yeah. It's uh, reminded me of Italy, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's something that I enjoy all the time. I was going to touch a little bit on your sailing. I know you're quite an avid sailor, a lot of experience. Any plans to take part in the Grenada Sailing Festival 
next January? Well, I'm sure one way or another, yes. We, 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 have, we, we did for several years, uh, we were one of the main sponsors for that, and, uh, and we'll certainly be involved again one way or another. And I think the more of these sailing festivals, the more regattas we can have. You know, earlier this year we had the Oyster Regatta, which was very yes. successful, and they're yes. going to come back. So the Grenada Sailing Festival needs to be promoted, needs to be marketed, uh, needs to grow, uh, and we need other regattas. It's part of what Grenada can offer people is, is boats, the sea, the water, and all that goes with it, the fishing and to go out and see the dolphins. Um, but I think if you can get the yachts coming here, which of course is why the marina is so helpful. You know, you remember, <laughs> I remember what the lagoon looked like a few years ago. Yeah. It was a disaster. Now look at it today, and in another two or three weeks, we'll have all those huge yachts here. Those people are spending money in the country, uh, using all kinds of local services. So the more we can get people interested in, 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 in Grenada's sea life, uh, the better it is. Okay. So you're expecting a, a lot of the mega yachts to come in this season to the marina? I am. So far, yeah, I am. It's, it's okay. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, indeed. Uh, and uh, I, in fact, myself have been at a number of the boat shows this year around the world, uh, beating the drum, telling people, come on, bring, bring your yacht to Grenada. And, uh, and I think we'll see an increase this year, definitely. An increase. Well, that's always great. Well, uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Stay positive. Uh, keep fighting the good fight. Good things are going to come They're around the corner and we just need to start looking for them. So, Mr. Desavri, I want to thank you very, very much for coming in and, and sharing some of your uh, experience and knowledge with us, but a little bit of your, your personal life as well. So well, thank you for having me in your lovely country. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much.